Hey there, friends. Have you ever wanted to see what you and a celebrity mixed together might turn into? Well, that's what we're going to do here today. And I'm going to start with this wonderful picture here of me. You can see this finished product here. Um, this is me and my sweet friend Oprah and how we combine to become that. But here's my original picture. So when we do these activities, we want a good high quality picture. So not a webcam picture, but an actual camera picture. Preferably not one that's this close up like mine is, but hey, you know, I was sitting by myself in my classroom, so it is what it is. So I'll start with this first picture of Oprah. Now these pictures are not exactly like sized, um, so I am going to size them up, but for the most part it, it works okay. These pictures aren't too huge, so it's all right. You don't need a great selection. I mean, you could quick select if you wanted to, um, but quite honestly, a rough lasso would be fine. Uh, it's it's good to go ahead and get a little extra than what you need. So just basically the face is all you're looking for here. And at this point, you can undock, take your move tool, and pull it across. And then I'll go dock this back in here. All right. So <laughs> I know that looks great, right? So first things first, you're going to turn the opacity down so you can see through the layer that you pulled over. So then you're going to press Control T, hold down Shift to pull from the corner, and you want to try to match up things like eyes and noses. They're not going to be in the exact same place because all people are made differently and we don't match. But do the best you can to get them lined up the best you can. I have learned that compared to some people, I have a huge mouth, and compared to other people, I have a tiny mouth. And so, anyway, so this is lined up pretty good. Um, my nose is lower than her nose, but uh, the eyes are lined up pretty well and the eyebrows are lined up pretty well. So we're going to leave it that way. I could rotate it maybe a little bit more. You just kind of have to play with it and decide. All right, so there's kind of our initial um, placement, and then we'll pop the opacity back up to 100. Obviously, we have different skin tones here, and uh, she's covering up most of my skin at this moment. So we are going to add a layer mask and click on the layer mask so that it says layer mask up here. And we're going to take a black paintbrush to hide, a black soft paintbrush, because we don't want to have lines. So certainly we need to make sure all my hair comes through. So I'm painting out as much of her face as I can. Um, don't like get too close. We don't want her eyes to start to disappear. So if you're using a big brush, stay kind of off here over to the side. Um, you want to see your skin coming in. Okay. Now, if you go too far, if you start bringing your eyeball back in, wow, that looks creepy, then uh, use a smaller brush, switch to white, and then paint it back. Okay. Just make sure that you don't get rid of anything that's important. All right. This one's actually not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of her cheek out of there so I have a little bit more of my natural skin. Strangely, when we somehow put our our uh, stuff on top of each other, our skin tones look, don't look that different. Um, but obviously, if we look at my body, we can see that I am a little bit lighter. So we're going to go ahead and add an adjustment. And I personally find, I'm not really usually great with curves, but I personally find curves adjustments to be the easiest. Now we want to be at 100%. So control one, um, or I'm sorry, control Control zero to get at 100% or to fit to the screen rather. You can control uh, one to get to 100 and control zero to fit to the screen. So you notice that at control one when I'm at 100%, it is a little blurry. So when I'm done with this, I probably would, would resize it to make it a little bit smaller just so it's not quite as noticeable that it's not perfect quality. Um, but all right, I'm going to add a curves adjustment. So layer, new adjustment layer, and curves. And you're going to want to clip it. So I'm going to call this Fix Oprah and it's clipped in and then you have this little histogram over here with your curves and you're just going to kind of mess with it so notice like if i pull here that's going to pull those down i don't want to go down i want to lighten up so there we go so what you're trying to do is match of course makeup makes us all a little bit darker than we are but you're trying to match up more of the actual skin tone you just kind of mess with it a little bit you don't want to wash it out all right that's Oops, that was too much. Sometimes it starts to kind of look like makeup if you get a little too out of there. Now, notice if this gets a total mess, you can hit auto and it'll kind of reassign it and then you can sort of fix it. So there we go. I just basically just lightening that up is about all really that we need to do here on this one. All right, there we go. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And there we go. There's me and my best buddy, Oprah. Don't we look good? All right, so let's try another one here. Um, let's take some nice, you know, skinny person, because 
I don't fit this category here of Angelina Jolie, but I'm going to take Mia Lasso here and just rough out her beautiful, gorgeous, flawless skin and her amazing cheekbones, which she doesn't get to keep because she's going to have to have my cheekbones, but it's fine. All right, so I've got my rough lasso here. Pull this down and move tool it over. Now, I am, before I move tool this over, let me go back to this one for a second. Um, I am going to click back down on the background layer so when I drag this in, it doesn't get stuck in any of those other pieces. Okay, now move tool, drag it over. There it is. So I'm going to hide these for a second so that we don't see Oprah or um, her adjustment layer. But, all right, we're back in here now. Angelina. Hello, Angelina. And your perfectness. All right, let's go ahead and pull the opacity back. And again, we want to line this up. And I do have me have to make her a little bit bigger, even though she has like nice big eyes. Okay, so we get that in there. Get those overlap. That's pretty good overlap. Her, she just has higher eyes than me. Look at that. If I if I overlap the nose, the eyes feel like they're really high. But anyway, okay, let's go ahead and hit okay here. Um, also consider rotating. You know, like if it's rotated too much, um, you know, rotate it back a little bit. All right. So got our opacity pulled up. I'm not sure. That looks like kind of a big face, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and go down to this a smidgen. All right. Let me turn my opacity down again so I can try to match these eyes up. There we go. That's good. All right. Um, so once again, we're going to add a layer mask. Paint in black. Two hide areas of the layer mask with a paintbrush. And I'm going to try to leave her beauty mark there so she can be beautiful like always there. But notice like her side of her face is way skinnier than the side of my face so she's gonna have to live with my face for this little project here you don't want to have a line so i'm using a really soft brush and i'm brushing from way out here i'm not getting right up on it because i don't want to like get rid of all my skin oh now she looks like a chipmunk bless her little heart all right so there we go and for the most part that's it's pretty good i could come in here and make her have to deal with more of my face so she doesn't have to get to have her beautiful, perfect skin completely through there. We'll take it a little bit deeper down in there so we have a little bit more of the redness of my skin. All right, now, again, if you go too far, um, use a small brush and paint back in. You definitely don't want to lose any of the eyes or any of the features, okay? And then same story. Let's just go back in here to, limit to a layer, a new adjustment layer, curves. Clip it so it's pointing down. Fix and here. All right. And then we're going to start messing around with these a little bit to see. She's got a little bit too much brightness going on, so we've got to find a way to pull those middle tones down. Um, and she's kind of, I mean, I'm a little more red than her, so that's another part we kind of have to mess with a little bit on this one. Oops. Too much. All right. And, of course, if we wanted to go and make it a little bit more red, we could add another adjustment layer. So uh, under layer, new adjustment layer, there is a thing called color balance. It's a little harder to use, but um, I'll clip it in also. So we've got them both. Um, we can increase certain colors. So if I go here, now see if I go crazy, you can see, but that's going to increase the red tones a little bit to the image. Um, this increases the magentas a little bit to the image. And then like yellow and blues are opposite each other. So you can kind of mess with these a little bit and get some different effects as well on the color. So that's a little bit redder. Let's see what that looks like before. So there's before, it's kind of olive, and then here it's a little more red. Um, you've just got kind of a lot of things. The highlights are the area that's bothering me. And on color balance, you can switch it. So I can say highlights, and let's try to mess more with those reds on the highlights. Now, if it does too much, like right now it's getting into the eyes, then I can click on the color balance. It has a mask, and I can use black on the color balance one to paint out the redness that's over the eyes. So you can, even even over the lips, if it's too red, you can kind of paint that out a little bit. And you can also pull the opacity back on your color adjustment layer. So if it's too much, just pull the opacity back. So there's before, and there's after. And it's a subtle change, but it does kind of increase the uh, redness of the skin tone. So there we go. There's me as Angelina Jolie. Um, so nice little face swap there for us. <laughs> Let's do one more because we're having such a good time here. Back to good old me again. This time, let me click back on my background. We're going to take Donald Trump because I know everybody wants to know what me and Donald Trump look like together. So again, just going to kind of grab a whole bunch of Trump face. 
and we'll move that over with the move tool. Uh, as always here, we're going to position that face in its particular spot, uh, control T and rotate to get it lined up sort of similarly, make it bigger, understanding that really if we were wanting to do a high quality job, we would choose bigger images that matched. Um, all right, let's pull the opacity back so I can try to match us up a little bit here. All right, um, we kind of both have big bushy eyebrows, so that kind of works out. Um, all right, that's pretty close, I guess. So let's up the opac opacity. Whoops, we'll let Odon here have his, his layer. And then, <laughs> well, I don't know, it looks like that face is too big, but we'll see. Let's add the layer mask and let's paint in black to start sitting down these edges. Let me use the bigger brush here for a second and probably zoom in a bit too. All right, to so start to paint out, make sure you get rid of any lines. Don't want any hard lines. And I want to blend that up a little bit. See, in this case, he had a fatter face than me, so that makes me feel a little bit better. All right, well, he is an attractive woman, isn't he? All right, there we go. Now, in this case, um, he's kind of got a lot of kind of orange and whatnot to his face, but we want to pull mine down a little bit because my face is much brighter than what we've got going on for him. Our eyebrows are kind of running at each other, too, so you have to kind of decide which route you're going to go with those. All right, I'll paint back in a little bit here around the eyes. Don't want to lose the definition in the eyes. Make sure you keep your main features. And then once again, let's add that curves adjustment layer and adjustment layer and curves. Clip it. And then at this point, you can start messing with these curves until you get your colors to match up for the most part. And this one doesn't take a whole lot because, like I said, he's not too far off on here once we get... All right, let's see how that looks. There's the before and there's the after. Not too bad. And like I said, again, you could choose different um, adjustments if you're not getting what you want from your first adjustment. But I think this works pretty well. I don't really see a seam around the edges here. Obviously, he has more wrinkles than me, so yay. Um, but there we go. So here is me as Donald Trump. And here is me as... Angelina Jolie, that face does look way too big, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and control T, size her down, her and her features. Um, here, in case now that I've moved it, I probably need to paint back in. Oops, backwards. A little more of her face. Oh, man, we just can't let her have much of her face, can we? Just a little skinny face lady there. All right, that's just a hard one to do. Yeah, just can't quite get it. Anyway, so there we are, and then Oprah. And uh, all these poor people having to deal with my chin. It's just kind of a sad moment there, isn't it? Sad testament for my... Oh, that's maybe that's Donald Trump's chin showing through there. We'll blame him for it. That's good, right? All right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, there you go. I think that's my favorite one. Oprah and I, we're good buddies, so... Uh, my challenge for you is to try to find three celebrity faces, at least one that's not your gender, just for fun. And I want you to try to do like I've done here, uh, multiple face swaps in one document, um, using adjustment layers. And you don't have to use curves, but I would ask you that you start there at least, um, just because sometimes it is a little bit easier to drag those sliders and match them up. But you could also go with levels um, or color balance. Those are all also good options. Um, so have fun swapping faces with celebrities.